Seven Ripping hundred more less. Never stop, no rest. Till the stress is spread through my chest. Till it's diamonds wrapping my neck. Progress to a god from a goddamn mess. Hope bless, more tests. More bless. Dug deep down, trying to find my best. Find a beast, had to kill a conquest. I'm next. I'm too on till I'm too off. Come down, make new thoughts. Like jumping off of that rooftop. Hold my camera when I do not to make moves based on my mood drops. Like who's lost? Like who's lost? It's your fault. Steadily killing me, running my brain full of shame. I don't wanna lose faith. I'm full of stage, trying to find my pain. I see something coming out of that brain. Uh, my pain really not tame. I'ma never slow down. I'ma never be hate. Uh, stuck inside this place, inside this cage. It's taking over. I'm There's not going to be any point in doing the shitloads of techniques and stuff because it's crap for them. So uh, we'll look at some, some some mechanisms and some tools that can work and we'll look at it basically around one turn, around one sweep, okay? Uh, I don't ever like coaching something I never did. I wasn't very particularly, um, wasn't using a lot when I used to fight when I was a man. Um, the using the hooks guard and the butterfly, uh, this, they've got modern names there, don't they? So all the sweeps done from this position, where you're taking them to the corners, whichever foot you're using, it meant that they were all based off what the Japs used to call sumigashi, which literally meant reversing into the corner. And then the Brazilians call it the butterfly guard, I don't know what they call it now, hooks guard or whatever. Okay, so we'll look at something there, and some mechanisms that with a bit of luck you can transfer into your game, or some movement patterns that will help you out a little bit. All right? Um, we'll start off looking at a grip. I don't want to look at how to get the grip. There's a lot of white belts in here. You're going to get bored otherwise. I'm going to put the grip on, and I want you to have a play around with this grip and see how it holds your opponent. Right. And then when we bring you back, I'll keep bringing you back onto the, uh, to the middle, and we'll do more and more. And It'll be overlapping, so if you've only had a couple of goes at it, you don't think, oh, I didn't practice that. It doesn't matter, because you'll be doing it more with a bit more added on, okay? Here's what I want you to do. John, James, on that. So John's going to help me out, look. I'm going to pull him down here, and I'm going to wrap his arm up, and I'm going to shove this in this, this hand with this thumb, my fingers. Well, but now he's opened me out. There's nothing, no magic technique here at all. I'll tell you when it's important. And then I'll backtrack a bit and go forward and have you play around. Okay, so I wrap it down, so I've got the over hook here, and I need to wither it down. So I'm going to open this collar here up, open it up and stick your fingers in. And I'm going to get rid of it. Then the tie box is in here, they know how effective that is. Right, now I'll lie on this side, look at me hooky. See how me hooky? Look at foot. It's not on me instep, it's about here. Boundary is it. And I lie on this side and I pull him onto me, look the way. And John Bass is like that. That's it. Look. So I'm pulling this here, look. And I'm doing this here. And I'm laid on my side. And all I want John to do there is move around a little bit. That's it. Go the other way and off my jump. That's it. Go the other way. Open up a little bit. Back a little bit. So I feel that I'm attached to him. That's it, mate. Yeah? See what I'm doing, John? Pick one of your partners. Which one do you want? Uh, anyway. Yeah, that's perfect. Black beach, yeah. <laughs> so you can see, because you're aware of what I'm doing in a further belt, but you can see it as well, can't you? So there we go, let me just take this over up. Because he wants the under hook and it's good for him. And we make it so that it isn't. Interestingly enough, for each we're just doing this with the students. I mean, the tie box, you're over looking like this to wither him. So we'll get over that, pull him down. So all I'm doing, John, is that hook's in deep. Yeah. And I bring him onto me there. Bring him onto me with his back leg. So as he moves around a little bit, I've got a little bit of tension, that's it, all around the neck of that's it, and I'm just keeping that shape. And I want to feel like I'm moving here, but so, as it, so I can push him and pull him, move him around here, I'm constantly contacted with his upper body, and I'm sort of playing around with that, and let your feet shift and pull them. Get a play with it, and then we'll come back on and look at some other bits, okay? You're 
I'm headed to the bottom of the bottle. I've been drowning, I've been floating up. Thank you. Come in, let's have a look at how the sweep and the turnover actually works. Okay. So we do have to look at a technique at the end of it. And then we could use these mechanics to control somebody. And the idea is we want to learn how the corner reversal, how these butterfly sweeps work. Because what they are is they're actually a sacrifice of what we've done in standing. But when we're on our back on the floor, do you understand what I mean by sacrifice? So, so in judo, the sacrifice throw would be when you sacrifice yourself to throw them over. Okay? And all these, whether it's like that, like that, or like this, or like this, they're all sacrifice throw from the same family. Okay? And they're generally called butterfly throw. Right. And here's how they work. Using our grip, we're on our side like this. And there's rules in this position. I have to waffle with it so you've got, you've got um, confidence in what I'm telling you. Otherwise you can think, what the fuck am I doing? Right, there's rules here. I want to be on my side, or sat up, or both. If you get both, the person on top's got a big problem. But it's very likely they're going to block one of the two. Okay, so if you can't sit up, you get on your side. If you can't get on your side, we sit up. We'll get to that in a minute, later on. But for now, we're on our side and we've got these grips. And our opponent's going to help us. The way we elevate them to that corner, to these corner reversals, these summations, these butterfly sweeps, is that we lift that person's hip with this connection. But you don't lift them up like that. You lift this hip up with this leg, using this leg. So you all need to do exactly what I've just done. So watch what I'm going to do, and I'm an old man, so you need to be able to do this. When I was a young man in Brazil, we used to put two people here and practice this lift. So watch what I'm doing. I have to get on my shoulder and on my head. Watch my foot. This is recruiting. Look how my toes are up. If you've got bad knees, shove your toes up and it doesn't turn. Look, he's on the shin there on the hip. Watch, and you push here. See? So for now, I want you to do that. Just do a few minutes and a piss around with it all the time at work. I'm going to make sure you can do that. Don't feel a tit if you can't do it. You might have never fucking done it. That's why we're practicing. And if you try to do it, do it all next to the coffee table. You look cool, you'll be better at it tomorrow. Right on your side, the same side as you were before. And which side you're laid on, lay on that side. Right, keep your foot up and, and recruit your bottom leg and push. That's good, John. Huh? You want to feel like so don't use your hands down your side. You do it the same side as you were told. Remember which side you were laid when you were trying the technique? The side where you laid when you were trying the technique. So first technique, make sure you lie that way. Right, so let's have a look at it then. There you go, you're right. Watch, if you're going to do any friend of me, you're going to help me. We're going to perform that manoeuvre. The front of that corner. I'm not going to its side, I'm going to its corner. So because I'm doing it that way, it's going to be about 11 o'clock. If you're doing it other way, it's going to be about 1 o'clock. I'm not going at 9 o'clock, I'm going at 11 o'clock to its corner, okay? And what's important is for him to fall that way, this shoulder, he's leaning forward, this shoulder joins, We've got to turn. Just like if you were a kid at school and say, right, do a, do a roll with Polly, and they make you go like that. Your shoulder's got to turn. I've got to turn his shoulder like that. Then I lift him up and I'll reverse. He's going to help me out. He's not going to resist, but he's going to be a decent body. And what we do, look, is we open this up, because we need to learn his turn and the mechanism of the arm. Make sure you're nice and tight up here as well. Some of these are very loose down the arm. Let's talk. Where's he go? You see? Yeah, you're loose down his arm. If, you, if you've got a long arm, use it. Get out of the peel, grind it, crook. Pull his shoulder down if you want to, so it sticks up. I want to make his name play real. Fucking carrying deals, I can't have his verbs on. Look, up on this, shove your hand in. If you've got a long arm, it might be right through here. That's over if you're not strangled. Get a good hold of it. You're practicing it, so make it perfect in the practice. Get what realistic it will be hard to get in the fight, because you want to practice it as a method, as a perfect tool. Look, there's his head, 
So I bring him down into this position. Right, got my foot in place, it's all good. I have, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask John to kneel a bit closer to me. That's it, good, thank you. Right, and now I ask him to lift his head up a little bit. And I want his arm. I'm going to ask him to make a fist so he doesn't hurt his fingers. And I'm going to bring his elbow through. So I've held his arm above his elbow. It's unrealistic doing it this way, but I've got to feel the mechanism of the turn. So he's given me, look, look I'm above, above his, his elbow, look, and I pull his shoulder in, can you see? So what do we do now? I make a little bit of room to get my foot out. Then I push. If, you, if you've been around this before and you put up a belt of but don't worry, I'll get to things that I'm sure will help you more. Because it was something I've studied a lot and we had terrific men in this position. One of the best men of all time in this position we have. So I've got a, a bit of room here. You notice what I did there as well? You realize it more advanced. If you're putting your flat and I can't get on your side, I kick that way. I kick there. Watch my side. I've got his head. Chris. Chris, sorry, Chris, right. I've got a Chris's head here, right? So he's going to help me out. Lift his head a bit and he's going to let me have his arm. So he makes a fist for me so I don't snap his finger. And he just lets me pull his arm in above his elbow so his shoulder folds. He gives me it like that. He gives me it like that. And it's folded. Lovely. Now I've got to lift him up. So I make a bit of a kick with my top leg to make some room. And I bring my leg out. And I use my toes. Look. And I go. Oop. That's it. Have a look. Yes. Every other dollar that I got in bed, I probably went and pissed it away. Yeah, I'd fucking okay. I ain't liking it, babe. I don't even wanna talk. I'm just smoking my haze. I've been stuck in my ways. I've been stuck in for days. I've been staring at the clock as the radio plays. I'm in yeah. Rolling another, I'm stuck in my seat for the whole control of my speech. Yeah, I've been trying to get off this. I'm going to have a little Chris here, I'm going to have a Chris and I'll do John. Right, here we go. Now, I've got to make sure that his head is the side I'm sleeping, not mine. I don't want mine there. My own head will get in my own way. I can't sleep it if my head's this side. I can't. Give us your hand, because I just can't do it. I can't, you know, I can't roll onto my own neck. I need his head there. I need his head there. I need his head that side. So he rolls over his own head. But what I want you to do now is exactly what Chris has done for me. He's going to give me his arm again, and you need to make sure it's pulled through. Look how his shoulders tip. Look, you see that? Bump. And now this is going to make sure that you recruit your foot properly. Because he's going to do what he's done. So I might have to push more than once. Look, he's up on his foot. So it defies logic that I can take him that way, doesn't it? Because he's foot up, but he can. Because look, I push him into the space, and I push, and I push, and I push, and I push his foot out. He feels like he's going to have a bad in BMX. It's like a bike crash. Oh, John, I don't know, so you So, to be in a good body, again, so we're working on the, on the, on the tools, on the mechanics. Get a really good grip, so it feels right. Get out of the arm. Make sure the head's that side, it's all good. And now I get down to put, put, go up on his foot. Ah, that's good, there. And he gives me his arm. So I have to start to lift him. So I get him away that side, and he's not gone. I can't. So I push, and push, and push until he goes. Understand? So now you're going to think in your head, this might take 10. But if it takes two, it's great. Oh, he's got to take one, and then you should take more than one. Push it through, the green recruits and push it. And don't let your knee fall inside. <coughs> Keep it outside. Push, 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 push. The thing you know is doing this. It's wrong. Same my day. Hold on. Hold on. Couch for a minute and a whole damn week No kidding, I'm skinny, I cannot eat Got a million motherfuckers that depend on me Yeah, every friend in my family leave. I'm a girl, every fan I meet myself I'm too on till I'm too off Come down, to make new thoughts Like jumping off of that rooftop Hold my camera when I do not to make moves Based on my moves Get their head on the side you're gonna sweep Trap the arm like we're doing Turn the shoulder Shoulder's gonna turn Or well, they won't run don't let your knees spaz inside. Can't let this happen. 
Be strong. It goes inside, get it back out. You've got to follow the hips. The foot's on the floor and we start to lift it. As we start to lift that person, if they start to move that way, don't come further out. You're further away from them. You don't want that. You lift them up. And they start to move that way. Keep this tight and go and get them. And lift. And go and get them. And lift. And go and get them. And lift. They might move back. Go and get them. And lift. They might move too high. Move away. And lift. You've got to trap the hips with this leg. All the time whilst holding that, hugging that, and pulling that in. So you've got to rub your belly, pat your head, wink and fart at the same time. And if you do, you're fucked. So when the opponent puts the foot out, you can see what we're doing, but we're still practicing. Don't train yet. Okay, you're still practicing clearly but learning the move. We're learning a skill. Make sure it's tight. We get hold of him here and he's giving me the arm. And I'm going to lift him. I feel his weight's a bit far this way. So as I lift him, I'm going to push out a little bit. He's about right now. And as I lift him, I move a little bit. I'm going to follow him. So what I did, you see that? Let's look at that again. I need to push and keep moving away. Watch what I do. Don't move, Chris. I put my foot here and I bring myself back under. Now don't move, Chris. Whatever he does, I have to track him with his foot. And there's nothing he can do about it. Because these are all doing job. If he goes too far back, I pull myself under and push. If he comes too high up, I pull myself away and push. That way I go down. This way I go back. Understand that? Dead easy, really. Make it practice, don't train. Brass, like who's brass, like who's brass. It's your gun. Stand on the kill of me, but I'm afraid for the shame of the world. shoulder. So if Chris lifts up a little bit so we can see, I've got to make sure that this happens, that he turns. I don't care whether I'm holding his hand, his sleeve or his elbow, I've got to make his shoulders turn or he doesn't do a forward roll. Think about being an hipper at school, you do a forward roll, you took your arm between your legs, blah blah blah. Right, so here's our position here, here's where we are. Well, what can I do? Well look, come and look at this. These are tricks of best men ever. None of my stuff, none of this is mine, he's the greatest man ever. You've got to remember them graces in my child, those are fucking nutcases. It's <laughs> truly worth. Right, watch. You show him your bottom leg, because what he's fearful of, right, is me putting him back in guard. So you show him your bottom leg. What's Ben going on about here? Watch. We've done this. If I do this with that knee, he's like to touch it. Right, if I get hold of his wrist or anything now and push my leg through, watch where his arm goes. I just hold it there. You know what to do. Get over there. Call him names if you want. <laughs> See what I'm doing, Chris, yeah? Right, By him touching this knee and you holding a hand and you push your leg and it does that. I'm going to go on and on. You see, it's strong. There's more to it than that. We start with that. We start by those who have to practice bit by bit. Let's learn the skill. Here we are. He might be having none of it. He knows what's coming. He's like, fuck you, Ben, you old bastard. Baldy. <laughs> but I go like that and you might shit your sense of day. Well, it's, we do it. Right, if you can get his elbow, it's brilliant. If you can't, make sure you turn the arm sufficient so the shoulder turns. I'm going to get over it. Look how I pushed his hand look into his gut that way. So to get that, my elbow's on floor, so to get that out, he's going to pull his hand through his own gut. And I can start the game up. Have a try. And then we clean it up with better, better ideas or not. It's a 
style and that's it, you threaten with the knee and they touch the knee. Because you will. 30 years I've been in this and I still fucking touch that knee. I touch it and I think, down. oh, you did it. It's like somebody flashing a tenner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you do, you just, oh, uh, try it. Well, Controlling the speed. So what's Ben going on about? Watch what they figured out here. I can often say these men need to get all the jobs because I don't know how to figure it out. Right, but I'm hunting for this. And I come around so you can see us. And I can threaten look with this knee. The problem is, is that if, if he was to put his hand on that knee, yeah, if I don't get hold of it quick enough and make my grip, he might beat me to the punch and start to do things. He might get past it, trap my feet, grab my head, I don't know. But I want to make sure that I get this grip and fold the shoulder. That's what we were doing. I wanted this grip and fold in the shoulder. I don't want to be threatening to make a better grip and thinking that it might not work. I don't want to be jumping from one row to another. I want to be holding the other row when I let go the first row. Okay? So watch what they did. When you threaten with his foot, watch. If you want, you can push away a little bit with your first foot and put this foot, the heel, on it. So if I do this done and you push my knee, feel that. Right, let's go back a step and you don't give me that hand. Push it now. Here. Look at my feet up. Let me see. My heel of my right foot is on the heel of the left foot. The feet pushes that through, he's lifting his set up. In fact, he's lifting the bucket, he's stunning. And whilst he's pissing around here, I get out of it. Then I take it off. Can you see that? Yeah. Let's get out of Chris and make sure he is there, so you can see it as well. Just a stroke of genius at the end. Incredible memory. Okay, to have it. So watch him out. Here's what we're saying. So as I do this, I don't want to be worried that I'm not going to. So what we can do, keep your arm away so I haven't got it. I can bring it through and put the heel of this foot on that one. If you push that through now, Chris, it can move. It just don't move. He's pushing onto me. He's lifting the bucket, he's doing it. Well, push it through. Oh, whatever. Well, 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 well. Try it. You might not like it, but it's an hell of a trick if you do. <laughs> Pulling it onto the hook, over up with a wizard, all in the neck. What happens when the opponent doesn't threaten that way, but attempts to walk us back flat? That can be a problem, because now I've got nothing. Because when I do the sweep with our recruitment that we're doing here, watch, this happens. When I'm laying flat, this happens. I don't know about you, but that doesn't look like I'm thrown into a corner, does it? That does. You can see the problem. So look, here's our position. I'm all snuggled in here, it's nice. And I'm thinking, I dare you to try and go that way. And he don't. He walks through this way. I'm flat now. And he pushes me knee through. And I can't push. In fact, give me your arm after you've done that, Chris. Give me a bit of room. Give me a bit of room there. All I can do is push up. Why? Can, can you begin to see what's happened? Let me go on this side again, Chris. I'm not here. Here I'll push him to corner, look. But he's put me, look, flat. So when I push him this foot now, I just push. He's just going to come and grab me head and stuff me in. Ugh. But look, look at where your feet are. Look at what's happening here. Because this is what they used to call like a bazaar. Like a, 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 a big foot, a stomp, better translation. Or Gordo's foot, used to call it. So your foot's here, 
If he moves his weight this way, this traps him. And you can do it. This. It upsets his balance. For now, I don't need to do anything with it. I want you to feel what it does. So watch this. Because we're going to learn this mechanism. We might take us a few rotations of technique to learn the practice of the skill. So here we are. Right, and he must have put me flat. What? 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 It's horrible, isn't it? Yeah. Can you see what he's doing? Go on, put me flat. <laughs> what he can't do, because of my foot, if I do this, he'll just walk around that way. And he can't. Because what he can't do, if you imagine with a classic movement of his hips, he can't do this and then do a technical stand on Because I'm holding his leg. You see what I'm doing? Let's see what we're doing. Don't worry if you can't see it, you're going to feel it, trust me. We have to understand it. It's subtle. Here's our position. As soon as I feel, if his hip, if his weight starts to go that way, I look for sleep and I look for his arm. And even if I can't get it, I just follow it. But if his weight tips the other way, I have to bump. Let's go back a step. So look, if his weight tips, yeah, to this side, awesome. So if, even if he lies on the floor that way, bring your leg. Bring it out now. That's your gap. Let's play with it and I'll bring you back. For you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
to every fucking room. There's the gripping phase, there's the displacement phase, and then there's the move itself. So there's the grabbing, setting, and the technique. You have to get hold of them, put them off balance, and then do something. So to just create this sweep off its own, once you grab them, is difficult. So we get our man up this here. Here's our, our first position. Because now what you're doing is you're practicing it, but you're, you're getting the momentum and understanding this middle part, which is, well, how do I put him off balance to throw? Here's our position. But even if he gives me this arm, I've got to create a lot of, a lot of momentum here from a dead weight. I've got to get some space and lift him up. Well, if we, if we understand this game, if he's moving in any direction, so if he attempts to start to put me flat and I bump him, the first thing he's doing, I can feel him doing it, he's wanting to come back this way. I've done that and he's bringing it back. That means if I time that right, especially if I've got his arm and I go like that and he comes back, he's gone. He's lent into it. I've pushed him and I want him to push him me back so I can go. No. <laughs> you understand? So what I want you to do is something as simple as this. I want you to get on the body. The body on top is going to help you. Because we're practicing. Get on your body with all the grips that we use. Now our grips here. And take your arm for now. And what I want you to do is I want you to do go at old spot, the stomp. He's going to help me and start to go that way a bit. And I'm going to stomp. And when I feel him push back, I'm going to recruit and push. So it's helping me. And you'll feel the time, you'll think this is a good tool. And that's how you get big enough, you get a move. Ripping on them all less, never stop, no rest, till the stress is spread them. One last mechanic, because it's all linked in. Right. Let's not go into loads of techniques again, no, let's look at mechanisms and tools. Right, Mr. the final one. And what we said at the start, we want to be on a side, or set up, or both. Both does it. The other option you've got here, look, if he places that hand miles away, and you can't get out of it, look, I can't get it. Can't get it down. Watch. I can hug here and bring my leg through. Make sure you can see my bottom leg. When my bottom leg comes through, I can escape my hip. As many times as I need to, so I'm square on. Once I'm square on, my toes go up and I kick and I sit. Well now I can decide to play on him. But what do you want to do? Do you want to escape the same way as I before and grab his arm? Or do I want to go this way because I'm already grabbing his arm? Not good. But whatever you do, do the sweep properly. Because now I've got momentum. I don't go, ugh, I pull that in. And I fall to my corner, and I'm on them. What have I actually done? Let's have a line so we can see the back side. That's going to work better. Here's where we're going to look at that line. And his arms in. So I put my arm under his armpit. And I bring my knee. And I go. And I kick. And I sit up. Well, I'm here now. I've still got this, and this is here. If you want that sweep, you go. And that's basically it. And you can do it. Come on. Do the job. And the this tool isn't just in this position. You can sit up whenever you want. Maybe you're in this position to begin with, you're like that. As long as I square up. I can kick and sit. Well, look. It's becoming obvious, yeah? Maybe for advanced lads, you've seen one application of what I just explained, which is that he knows I want the arm, he puts his weight on me. Maybe I go for you on the platter so you put your head closer to me. Yeah, so I can't. Wait, it's not long. Right, watch. 
Don't take this one off, he's gone. I can't hold anything, so I've got to put my hand up for but if you're holding a book, you need to do that. Whilst you're holding it. Look at different. Looking magic. We kick him through the wall. Have a look. My chest, till it's diamonds wrapping my neck, progress to a god from my Let's do about three minutes. Um, no, just two. Two minutes, start two minutes bottom. So stay with the same partner. Two minutes on the top. Time will go, then you go two minutes on bottom. Start with this grip. Right, so you're going to be holding your hand like this. Right, so you're going to be holding this like this. And sweep them. On top, don't let them. And try and pass the guard. When you're underneath, you can decide when you want to reset it. So if the guy on top starts murdering you, you can be a right miserable twat and say, whoa, whoa, stop, 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 stop. I want to start again. That's your two minutes. Do you understand? And even if he's miles better than you, you get two minutes worth of goals. So if I turn around and he's a mountain for one minute, 59 seconds, that's up to you and you're an idiot. Because you had two minutes to start from the, from the right position. You follow me? So let's start a lot. So now you're training. We've done the practice of learning a skill. Now you've got to put it into training and attempt to do it in the exercise. You follow me? Whenever you've ever been in a fight, it's going to be a perfect right hand read. You've never sparred with him in a fight. Never. It's always a bit short, a bit long, a bit overextended. You don't. It's just less shit. So don't be upset with yourself. Just get on with it. That's why I read it, because we're meaning to end. We're like, okay. Weak people can't do this because you can't get perfect. You can't. It's organic. It shifts. You understand? So get on with your mates, try your stuff. Okay? Feed yourself. Goddamn mess, whole place, more tests. More bless, duck deep down, trying to find my best. For the beast, had a killer conquest, I'm next. I'm too on till I'm too off. Come down, to make blue thoughts, like jumping off of that rooftop. Hold my camera when I do not to make moves based on my mood drops. Like who's lost? Like who's lost? It's your stuff. Stand on the killer, be running my brain full of shame, I don't wanna lose shame. That's the one that turns them on. 
a lot of the, the complexities is done before that moment, have you noticed? It's before you complete the final stage. If the final stage is complex, we're already fucking knackered. The head's fucked. The sweaty way, your eyes are running, you can't hear out, your throat's dry, you run out of strength. That last bit has got to be quite fundamentally sound and simple. Because of all that we've done 30 seconds previous. Snatching and grabbing and panting and getting poked and just twisting as if and moving this way, grabbing that, letting go of this. Yeah? So go back to the practice next time. Let the clean sweep, understand how it works, and try to get in train. Very good. Very good. And it'll only be passing as well. You'll feel when he's loose on top. You'll be on top and you'll feel him loose underneath. You can get through it. He's not following the rules. Right. Good promotions. Go on, John. Change your value. Thank <laughs> you. 